What's going on everybody? My name is Chris Carter. I want to welcome you to Crypto Secret X, the place we learn about crypto. And today, I'm doing a requested video on Shibu Inu. Uh, the meme coin that, you know, got a lot of hype in 2021. Uh, we saw it, you know, run up. But before we get started, you know what we gotta do. Cue the intro. What's going on everybody? My name is Chris Carter. I want to welcome you to Crypto Secret X, the place we learn about stocks and crypto. And today I'm going to be talking to you about the coin called Shibu Inu. Uh, Shibu Inu is a, uh, basically a uh, meme coin that rose to, let's say, crypto prominence in the summer of 2021. I want to tell you one thing about um, uh, Shibu Inu. It's still in the top 20, even though it is a meme coin, meant to be the uh, uh, the Dogecoin killer. Uh, the coin was used created in August of 2020 by an anonymous person uh, named Roshi, uh, much like uh, the situation with Bitcoin uh, and Satoshi Nakamoto. Uh, we have no idea about the true creator of Shibu Inu. Uh, but it's, it was built on an Ethereum blockchain to rival the Dogecoin. Now, it was supposed to be a Dogecoin killer. I really don't think that's the, well, initially that's what it was, but now uh, I don't see that hype uh, happening. Not hyping, but happening. Uh, but in 2021, uh, Shib was working on hype, which was uh, which drove the price up. Um, it rose one time to its highest of, uh, now again, I'm gonna put the zeros up here in my eyes, just a little bit, but 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.00007924. And it's now selling at, this is uh, five zeros, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, um, It has a total of one quadrillion coins, which a lot of its, um, Current holders of Shibu Inu uh, um, that you know they've bought uh, unbelievable amounts of Shibu Inu uh, have been requesting for the company to do a burn. But the one thing about a burn, what I begin to understand is that when you come out with a particular coin um, and you list the number, let's say one quadrillion coins, and then people start buying your coins, you have a number. Now. For any project, any person that has come up with a coin, they know that burning the coin could also cost them money because of the number that people may buy. Even though low amounts of the coin, you know, equates to a higher value of the coin if that coin is in uh, need. Like say, for instance, you look at Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin, um, let's see, it's... Uh, let me see if I can get to it and I can explain that to you a little bit better. Um, let me see. Da, da, da. Okay. Bitcoin has a circulating supply of 19,218,281. Now, if you look at it, Bitcoin now currently is selling at uh, $16,532. That's what it's currently selling at at this moment. And price you know if it, it does fluctuate um, with the price but now when you talk about Shibu Inu uh, Shibu Inu has one quadrillion coins uh, however the anonymous donor when it first came out now it doesn't have any now but here's the thing that some people were kind of leery on when they first did it but the anonymous donor sent uh, half of his total supply in return, Valtric burned 90% and then sent 10% to charity. You do the math. But we don't know the person or whoever founded uh, Shibu Inu. We do have a name there, but it's not something that uh, it's kind of been written in stone. Now, Shibu Inu initially was created as a meme coin. 
a meme coin that have no utility, uh, no tech behind it. It's just something somebody come, you know, kind of came up with and uh, formulated an ecosystem and built and built it on the blockchain. You through Ethereum, uh, they give you the ability to to build your coins. Uh, I think it's uh, coins, uh, ER twenty um, coins. So they have that ability to build those coins on that. Um, but since then, uh, since then, AMC theaters uh, begin accepting payments for the blockchain and I'm going to be I'm going to talk to you about the pros and cons about accepting um, cryptocurrency and why some of the stuff has been kind of slowed down uh, from a merchant standpoint and from a con a, con a customer a consumer uh, standpoint but um, ship at that time had no particular uh, tech tech behind it since then, AMC accepted, uh, said they would accept payments, which actually put a viable brand name behind Shibuya Inu to say, hey, you know, we're gonna take payment of Shibuya Inu, which added a little validity to it. Okay, it can be used for something. It has some usage. You can pay to go see movies. Then uh, Shibuya Inu, uh, the ecosystem, launched, is launched what they call uh, Shibarium. Uh, which provides a chance of leverage to grow an ecosystem um, offering a faster transaction transaction fees now is shibuya Inu was initially built on ethereum blockchain ethereum blockchain gas fees were so you know they're astronomically high because you have to have uh, pay those gas fees for it to work on ethereum then uh shibuya Inu through shibarium uh wanted to unleash what they call their own form of their own metaverse. The metaverse which allows you to see the history of Shibuya Inu displayed through creative arts, artifacts, and through the world. Then on Shibuya Inu, or through Shibarium, they uh, built a game through Playside called uh, Eternity um, 2, and it's in which you build a card deck and then you know you go against other people. Um, I had a chance to look at the card game, you know, I'm not, you know, maybe for video game players, it may be something that's very interesting. I'm not too big on the, the, the video game side of it. I'm more so when it comes to crypto, I look at the tech side of it, like transactional fees, um, banks being able to use it, uh, transference of, uh, currencies through different, uh, different uh countries that's how I, you know i see uh methods of crypto being used um, and there's so many other things you can use it for um now as far as shibuya Inu being a good investment right now i mean i own some shibuya Inu. uh when it ran up you know i bought it uh at that time because i just got i just got into uh, crypto and you know at that time everything was on a bull run uh, I had a little what they call FOMO fear missing out uh, but it's just the tech side of it I, I don't see much uh, development from Shibuya Inu uh, you know the coin as for the tech side and development I do see some things that people can do with it maybe like basketball games you can use Shibuya Inu but that's just me speculating on different companies using it. Right now, they have a video game. Uh, I think it's very basic, but they do have a video game built on the blockchain to use NFTs, which to me right now, currently NFTs, um, they're still there, but Ethereum, uh, then you got Solana, which you know they have their own debacle because of FTX. Then you got XRP, you got Cardano. So you have some more stable coins out there that are also offering NFTs that have a little bit more validity to them. So that's just my own personal opinion of it. Uh, you don't, don't take this as legal advice or you know financial advice. I'm just giving you my insight on you know, Shibuya Inu. Now, uh, the problem with taking cryptocurrency, and I'm, and I'm kind of deviating a little bit, but the adoption of cryptocurrency, there are a couple of pros and cons to this. And I may make another video talking, getting more in depth of it. But the baseline of it is, is that cryptocurrency 
at its current form is very volatile. So there are times where crypto can be up 20, 30 percent. Where and let me give you an example of that. Let's say a coin that on Monday is worth a uh, dollar, a dollar and fifty cent. In the next twenty minutes, that coin something happened could drop from a dollar fifty to fifty cent, or drop to a dollar. So in actuality, the the you know the the amount that someone would be exchanging could could very well vary. So in other words, let's say I'm paying for a shirt and the shirt costs ten dollars, and I'm selling, I'm buying it with a particular. I'm gonna call this uh, Crypto X coin, and the coin right now is 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 value is a dollar. I would give, I would exchange, send ten of my Crypto X coins to your wallet in exchange for your shirt. But in the in that with that happening, the coin that you tell me only send ten, I send you ten could drop as soon as I walk out of the door fifty cents. So the shirt that you sold for ten dollars, you might have sold for five dollars. So you see that that's the only thing with merchants. And then when it comes to taxes, the IRS wants you to keep records of this. Of each time you sold a coin, the amount that the coin was worth during the sale. Oh man, that caused a lot of you know. It, it makes you keep immaculate records, but. You kind of see some of the things that the regulations and things got to come into place. So that part of regulation, you know, we do need that label against the stable coin, the dollar. Um, but it has some pros and cons. It has some pros to it, too. Um, you don't have to have a third party to validate it, which that you don't get many security breaches. But that's another video. Let me get back to Shibuya New. Now, if... Right now, buying Shibuya New, it's um, currently, uh, it's, it, it's right, you know, currently number 15 on coin market cap. Um, it's, uh, it, you know, they have, um, I, I, I would, I would invest in Shibuya New uh, because of some of the things, some of the different programs they do have coming out. I don't know. I wouldn't invest in Shibuya New, like let's say over XRP or Cardano, but you know it's a meme coin. It's a meme coin, so it can run up. You know, uh, over hype. A lot of times, meme coins are because of the hype. You know, it's a hype behind it. But for a safe investment versus risky investments, um, you know, I know my SHIB army. I know y'all stand by SHIB. I own some SHIB, but to me, SHIB is a risky investment right now. It is. Uh, Kind of like, um, well, I don't even want to put it in the category with Satama because that was a total bust. Uh, so many people um, lost money on Satama. <sighs> but anyway, um, but if I had some money that I couldn't afford to that I could afford to lose and didn't really worry about it, yeah, I would buy some shit. Uh, but also, when you get into crypto, you got to stay with your heavyweights: Bitcoin, Ethereum. Um, XRP, or uh, Cardano, Matic. Stay with those two um, long-term holders. Anyway, I uh, hope that's been uh, helpful. Um, you know, do do me a favor: hit the like, hit the subscribe button, share with your fan. Also, hit the bell for notifications of videos that I have coming out. This is Chris Carr with Crypto Secret X.